Hello, this is the home doc. I just had some electrical issues on my pole barn that I, I had a circuit that I just put in probably about six months ago. I was doing some wiring, you know, trying to get some wiring done. Um, you know, have some different circuits and dedicated circuits and things. And um, I noticed about, I don't know, a couple months ago, I was trying to charge, I was trying to charge my tractor over here on, um, I have some you know, receptacles right here on the wall and uh, I didn't have any power and I said gosh what's what's going on with that <laughs> you know I just installed it brand new uh, system there and I, I said what you know what's going on so um, I wanted to take a look at it today and see if I could uh, figure out you know and give you some troubleshooting techniques that I use to, to help me figure out a circuit so um, basically what I did I came back to my panel that was tripping and it was this circuit here and um, I basically turned the power off and um, went to that circuit that I had in the pole barn. And, um, and I basically broke the circuit in half, you know, because like I say, it's, it ends right here. And then it goes across and um, goes inside of here. This is my, like a storage area. And... Um, so it comes through there and then uh, it goes across and then up and then back to the electrical box basically where I showed you the beginning where the circuit panels are so this is actually a home run right right in here is a home run and uh, so the first thing I did was um, I took the turn the power off and I took this the circuit and disconnected it from the plug and um, then I went over there and, and turned the breaker back on. And the breaker held. It didn't trip. So I uh, said, so, well, shoot, let me turn it back off and then go over this side. So then I went ahead and, and disconnected it there. And um, I put the circuit back on. And sure enough, it, it popped as soon as I put it on. You know, so I said, gosh, it's got to be something in between, you know, between here. And there's, a, and there's a receptacle right here. And um, so then I was thinking, you know, the only thing I did recently, my, um, my grandfather built some, some, you know, things that go on the side of his uh, truck probably 50 years ago. He was a plumber. And um, I mounted this cabinet, you know, just, just basically this cabinet here. Uh, that had all his plumbing fittings in. This probably, my dad was saying, about 80 years old. So um, it was actually on the side of his truck, and he had, you know, some covers that get, went on the side of here to kind of, to um, so he could lock and have all his fittings in for his plumbing materials. And I, I mounted that probably about two months ago. And then, like I said, right after my electrical, right after, you know, that, I, I kind of didn't do anything out here in a while. And I, I plugged in my tractor to the battery charger just to charge it up on, you know, on these circuits. And uh, the breaker just tripped all of a sudden. I mean, it, it tripped pretty quick. So um, I went in here and looked again and looked, looked you know, where, you know, I mounted because I had my wiring and everything, you know, tucked under with staples. And then I had this circuit here. And then when I... Uh, like I said, I, I was going to take, I'm taking that apart there, and uh, I was looking, and I said, gosh, look at that. So that, the, the screw that went through, when I, when I mounted that cabinet, it went through and it punctured, it basically it went in the wire and shorted it out. And that's what's causing our, our electrical problem, and, and the, the breaker tripping. So, um, yeah, so that, gosh, you know, so what I want to do now is basically... Take the plug out of here and disconnect all this and put me a brand new piece of wire from this box over to uh, this box right here. And um, so that's kind of what I want to want to do now. And um, but I just kind of like I said, I want to show you. Say, hey, the, the best thing to do when you troubleshoot electrical circuit is to break it in half. You know, kind of go where it ends and then kind of go halfway. You know, break the circuit like I did here, and then 
make sure it's, you know, everything is not touching, you know, and then turn the breaker back on and see if it holds or not. And if it's, if it holds, then, you know, there's going to be a problem further down the line in, in the run. So, um, but I, I appreciate all the support and thank you for watching my channel and subscribing and please hit that like button. And, um, and so you get the notifications and, and I appreciate all the support. And like I say, I'm going to hopefully start which I'm actually starting on a um, getting my house plans and everything ready for a house build shortly. So we're going to be starting to talk about that some. But I just want to bring this by you, and I appreciate it. Thank you again. Bye-bye.